Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Jennifer EJ, aka Jenna EJ, aka the very one and only YouTube boss. I am an Nigerian based YouTuber and I film videos on lifestyle, vlogs, travels, and everything that is interesting about my life. So if this is what you are about, please keep watching. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for clicking on today's video. A few of you have reached out to me and like I'm going for NYC. What do you think I should get? So I was thinking that okay, instead of just passing information from one person to another, why don't I just make a video just sharing it to the entire world what you need for your camp orientation exercise? Probably you're school outside Nigeria and you need to know these things before coming in to serve and you that are redeemed, you are trying to get one or two things. So this video is just gonna make it explicit for you to know what and what you need to get and how you need to get ready for your next orientation camp exercise. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So guys, I wrote them all down and for it, I'm gonna share them with you. I'm gonna categorize um, the things, the items that you'll be needing into three. One are the compulsory things that you need. You cannot do without them. Second category are the essential items. Then the final category are things that you really cannot take to camp with you, okay? So, let's begin. Starting from the compulsory items, now they are five. The first one is you would need your green card. Your green card is the document that you printed when you registered for NYSC. Now your green card has the name, where you were born, um, your color number, the size of your shirt, shoe size, waist length, it has every detail about you. Why it is called green is because it's going to be in the color green. So when you're submitting, you must submit the green one. Then you must have your color up letter. Now your color up letter is the letter that states that you have been posted to a particular state for your camp experience and thereafter your service year. So, um, a picture of the color letter I posted on my last um, video concerning my NYC experience. If you've not seen that, check, check. Because that would be the first thing that will be checked out at the gate before you even enter the camp to be sure that you were posted to that particular state. Okay, so you need that. Another compulsory item that you need is a medical certificate or and or medical report. Now let me explain. The medical um, fitness certificate is what shows that you are fit for whatever rigorous activity you are going to be um, welcomed with, so to say, in the camp. Okay, so they just need to be sure that you are fit to go through all of the exercises and all of the experiences. Now, you need that from either a government hospital or a military hospital. Medical report is needed for those people that have some um, special cases that will tend to put them in a situation where they cannot participate in activities in the camp okay so you will need a medical report to prove that you are not um, fit for some um, activities and because of that sometimes you might not even be allowed to stay in the camp so if you want to excuse yourself and not be in the camp you can actually get a medical report another compulsory document that you need is your statement of results your statement of results shows basically your results from your school so you get that from your school or if you can get your original certificates from your school i think original certificate is even mandatory for those coming in from um, outside nigeria to serve so get that another thing that you need that is very compulsory are passports you're going to be needing a lot of passports uh, probably a minimum of 10 passports if you can yes because i think i went with 10 and i only came back with two so it was used so if you can get 10 that would be nice and to add to that compulsory document is you must have your school id card please it is very important the next important thing that you need that lies with your document is a clear bag now it, this is a clear bag a clear bag is going to contain every of your documents so it makes it easier you know whenever you're asked to bring out anything during your registration it will be very easy for you to sort out and they will remain clean tidy and you know very neat and then please do not make so much copies of all of the documents that have been listed the truth is that they won't need it so preferably just make two photocopies of each document it is safer because i made so many photocopies and look at them here they are not needed yeah so that's basically that about the compulsory document so let's go to the fun part <laughs> so the first essential that you need is 
the waist pouch. This is your best friend in camp, okay? This is basically what you're going to be carrying everywhere with you. You don't need to have like a backpack or any other handbag, fancy handbag at all. This is basically what is allowed. This pouch is going to have everything inside. So this contains your ID card, your monies, your meal ticket. But this is your meal ticket, guys. As you can see, mine has been marked for every time I go to collect meals. Phone, your charger, your money, your ID card everything really that you can put inside and this goes everywhere with you i'm serious it goes everywhere with you this has literally your life inside so this you cannot do it with. so you can get this in the market everywhere you can even get it in camp only that in camp everything there is expensive because you're just trying to make use of the opportunity okay you're gonna be needing white shirts white shorts okay lots of them if you can um, you can get like five of white shirts, five of white shorts. Now the reason why you are getting plenty of this is because this is basically what you're going to be wearing alone in camp for 21 days. Apart from Sundays where you will be allowed to wear more tea, although this doesn't happen in every camp. So basically this is your uniform, day in, day out, morning, noon and night, whenever you want to go out, this is it. So you need as many as possible so as to help you stay clean, stay neat and stay tight. Another thing that you're going to be needing are socks, okay? You're going to be needing lots and lots of socks, just like the white shirt and white buttons. Um, you're going to be wearing whites all through too when it comes to socks, so you're going to need many. So you can get the plain white, the plain white socks, or you can get the kind of like green white now the thing with the bottoms the white stuff is that you're going to be giving same in camp when you go there but the truth is when you get to camp what you'll be giving to you is not of quality so <laughs> what's the point <laughs> better just get yours okay because you're going to be seeing something very ridiculous but what are you expecting is mass production it cannot be of quality okay as long as it has to do with nigeria but hey, so another thing that you're going to be needing are white sneakers, okay? There are basically two types, okay, that are actually required of you to get. But if you cannot get, so just get one. But the other one is rubber. That one helps basically for those people that are going to camp in winning season because um, with this one that is kind of like leather, when water tends to heat it, oh well, my not it will still remain fresh and okay for you it doesn't matter if your white has a little bit of design as you can see like mine to still be accepted okay as long as the majority of everything is white you will need buckets that will help you with fetching water where you used to take your bath and all in camp so please go with a bucket please go with a fetcher or a bailer to help you you know wait camps do not have showers although my camp had shower but not for us the girls have just basically for the guys so go with your bucket you are used to it please don't forget to go with your soap your sponge if possible a sponge case to help you put your sponge and soap together in it do not forget your detail to be able to um i wanted to say purify and sanctify the water yes but that is basically it so make sure that you have detail detail will help you you know keep the water clean because truth is in camp you really cannot really say so much about the water, you know. Um, for the ladies, make sure you have your toiletries, your sanitary pad, everything just to make you feel a little bit comfortable because the truth is you cannot be all that that comfortable. I don't know. Just get the necessary things that will just help you feel comfortable health-wise for the ladies. You understand what I'm talking about? Thank you. Don't forget for the ladies, don't forget your hair bonnets. Okay, so do not forget clips for your clothes. You're going to need it because you're going to be washing your whites and hanging them out and you don't want the wind to fling them to another place so get loose and also get hypo hypo helps to keep your clothes clean now i am not advertising for hypo even though i would wish that hypo would sponsor this video yes but get hypo hypo just keeps your whites clean for the next 21 days okay um please do not forget your toothpaste your toothbrush very important yeah don't forget to get a jota jota just to because you're going to be having lectures a lot in camp so you will need to be writing down that is if you are someone that likes to write down anyway please don't forget your body sprays your perfumes very important to keep you smelling okay you get a padlock a padlock if i say bad luck, please get a padlock for your box 
Yes, because people are going to be coming with different skills on how to ship things, if you understand what I mean. So please get a padlock. It helps to put put everything inside your box and then you lock it and put your key in your fanny bag. Mosquito nets. Now the truth is we're in Africa, so mosquitoes part of the creation. You cannot do it with them. They're gonna be there in camps and you don't want to fall sick because when you fall sick you might not be able to participate in whatever activity that's gonna be going on in camp. So just for you to be on the safe side, get mosquito net because you're gonna be in bunks, bunk like um um hostels. That's basically what you're gonna be using in camp. And you can actually take a mosquito repellent that will help you fight those mosquitoes. <laughs> and um, to add to the toilet rules, you could actually go with I don't know the proper English name, but we call it poo. Because of infection, you don't want to use the toilet that is made available since everybody's gonna be using it. So you can go with a poo, you know, just strictly for you. You do your business in there and you dispose. Or you can do like me and do short poop. Yeah, that's safer and safer. Yes, we don't need bed sheets because you're going to be giving mattresses and you don't know who and who has laid on that mattress for many years. So please get your own bed sheet so that you can just put on it and help you sleep well. Okay? Then you will need handkerchiefs because you're going to be sweating a lot. So you need to keep yourself um, not sweaty. Water bottle. Oh my God. This is funny fact and your water bottle. These are your besties in camp. I cannot tell you how much you're gonna need this water bottle oh my god like water in and out because you don't want to just be dehydrated so you need to ever be filled with water so get a water bottle to help you everywhere you go water water drink water and mind your business a car if you're a foodie go with a flax okay now the reason why I'm saying go with a flax, one that has a cover, or you can go with a transparent, uh, microwave transparent plate is you're going to be giving food in camp, okay? Unless probably you don't want to do camp food, you can go to mommy market and spend your money and enjoy your life, but this is needed, right? So for this, you this will just help you keep your food in hot, preserved, and all. You know, so make sure it has cover. This is actually ideal. Go with a spoon, do not forget, or else you want to use your hand. Go with a cup because sometimes you might be served bread and tea. Another important thing that you need to go with is go with a power bank, it will help you keep your phone charged. Usually, if you are like me that want to, you know, capture every of your experience, and also the mommy market to charge your phone and power bank, so it will also help you. Um, please do not forget to go with beverages as well, just in case you know you're not in the mood for some of the food. In the kitchen, and you can go with complex golden um milo milk, some oatmeal, and all of that. So, yes, do not forget your sunglasses. The weather is going to be so harsh on you. Like the NYC anthem says, under the sun or in the rain, you are gonna be in camp on parade doing God knows what. So, you need your sunglasses, or you can. Go with your sunscreen just to help preserve your skin color. Okay. And most importantly, do not forget to go with money. Lots and lots of money if you can. Preferably cash because if you say you want to put them in your account and you're going to be withdrawing them, those guys in money market are there to exploit you. You cannot go to come to laptop, stove, gas, food stuff, iron, fan. Please, it's just three weeks for goodness sake. Tech. Please. Okay, so I hope this has been very very helpful. It was really fun. <laughs> so if there's anything I'm missing, please just let me know. Ask me in the comment section and I will tell you if that is needed or not. Please share with your friends and anyone you know who will be going for the NYC camp experience soon so that they will know and then keep up. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching guys. Love you much. Lee.